What's up guys, it's Snowy here, and um, I'm bringing you guys a new tutorial on an effect that was in my beautiful edit. Um, guys, if you haven't seen it, go check it out on my channel, I, it's probably my best edit. And it's going to be the ripple wave kind of like transition, you'll see it right here. It's kind of fast, so pay attention, and here. Could have kind of see, you could kind of see it there. The transition with the wave. You can see how it opens up in half with the wave diagonally. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. All right, I'm just get two clips in here. Okay, say three seconds is where I want to switch it so just put a keyframe where you want the thing to end and where you want it to start it, sh it shouldn't be a slow transition make it pretty quick like oh uh, that might be a bit too quick like half a second that, that sounds that's about right okay then get the clip that you want to transition um, the clip that you want to transition into under that so you're getting rid of this clip and you're transitioning into the um, other one and the effect you're going to use is on this one once it gets to this part you can just cut it off so it renders less overall and once you get there go to the CC JAWS effect um, give me a minute let me go to the first keyframe okay so as you'll see it comes off in spikes and goes up to the bottom which I think is kind of boring so the way that you're going to want to change that is you're going to go to this and you can choose robo jaw which is like blocks you can change it to block like actual blocks <laughs> and then the one I like the best is waves and if it goes just goes up and down like you'll see that I don't think it I don't really think it looks as good so to change the direction, you can just use this tool. Change it to like negative 45. So it goes diagonally. And then you'll, um, to keyframe it, so it goes from one to the other, start at zero, hit the keyframe button where you want it to start, drag it over to one. Once you're here, you'll just turn it to 100. And you'll see a really quick effect right after you shoot with the waves coming off. It's better if you do it between two different clips with different um, color schemes so it's you can um, see it better, but you can kind of see it there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Keep classy, San Diego.